What's up, my beard bros? Boom Maniac here with December 6th, Game Picks, and Spread Predictions. And you know we do it every day, because we do it with a relatively good success rate. We actually did pretty well yesterday, I believe. We picked two correct games, and the third one was the game I picked to be upset, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But I didn't pick them in the actual Game Picks, which is kind of sad. Now, first game we have is Kings Cavaliers. Cavaliers favored by 12.5. Cavs should take this easily. Second game... Bulls at Pacers. Pacers favored by 9.5. They should win this one easily. Hawks, Magic. This one should be closer. Magic is favored by 5.5. I believe they win this one. Then you have the Celtics at the Mavericks. Celtics are favored by 9 in this one. I like what Tatum is doing. He should be in the running for Rookie of the Year. I don't think he'll win it, but he should be in the running. I like the passing game of the Celtics involving the big men, Horford, and Smart, and Irving. As I think the two, three top facilitators on the Celtics team. I like the Celtics in this one. But the Mavericks did push them close last time in Dallas. So it should be a good one. Then we have the Grizzlies Knicks. I don't know if Porzingis is playing or not. But I'll take the Knicks to win and cover the three point spread anyway. If Porzingis is playing. It should probably increase to around seven ish. So I'll take the Knicks to cover that one as well if it does change. Warriors Hornets. No Stephen Curry for the next couple weeks. Expect Kevin Durant to step up, even though he's is a self-proclaimed not leader of men, or however you want to call it. Kemba Walker could be the X factor here, or at least the matchup of him against Steph Curry's replacement. This should be a good one. Warriors favored by five. I believe they won in cover. This game's on ESPN at eight o'clock, five p.m. Pacific, eight o'clock Eastern. And we have Pistons Bucks. Milwaukee favored by three and a half here. The Pistons defense is the scary threat for the Bucks, but I'm going to pick the Bucks to win and cover at home. And <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to change my pick. I call this the year of the upset, so I, I'm looking at the other games. I cannot go a whole day without picking at least one upset or at least put someone on upset alert. The Pistons are going to put the Bucks on upset alert. If anybody's most likely to upset anybody, it's going to be the Pistons over the Bucks. Still picking the Bucks here, but Pistons are coming. The Bucks better be worried. Then we have the Nuggets, Pelicans. Nuggets battling injuries still. Pelicans also battling injuries with Anthony Davis. I believe the Pelicans win. The difference is going to be Drew Holiday and DeMarcus Cousins. If they can click tonight, then they should be able to cover the 4.5 point spread. Then we have the Heat and Spurs. Spurs are favored by 8 here. They're 16 and 8, which is a solid record. The Heat are 11 and 12. But the Heat are one of those teams that when they show up, they show up. But... They don't tend to show up, and that's the issue. But the Spurs should win this one at home. Timberwolves, Clippers. Timberwolves are favored by 5.5 on the road. This one's on at 10.30 p.m. Pacific, or Eastern Time, 7.30 Pacific. Now, the interesting thing about this one, no Blake Griffin, no Patrick Beverly, no Telovich, or whatever his I can't think of his name right now. So the in most interesting matchup here is going to be DeAndre Jordan against the big men of the Timberwolves. And maybe his defense keeps it close. I don't I honestly don't think it's gonna be a close game. Minnesota's only favored by five and a half. Consider this an upset if you want. Minnesota could win this one by fifteen or twenty. I honestly I think the Clippers maybe stand uh if I had a say a percentage, a thirteen point eight percent chance of winning, even though the ESPN matchup predictor, according to BPI, gives them a 54.4% chance. But I don't know if that's without Blake Griffin, and that kind of scares me a little bit. Now, should be a good one. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.